cuisine à la Pierre. I, of course, am Pierre. And on this episode, we will finish off our Cast Iron Pan Care series with part three. In this episode, we will show you how to properly maintain your newly seasoned cast iron pan and how to clean it and properly store heat. So without further ado, let's head into the kitchen. Now that we have our newly seasoned cast iron pans, we don't want all of our hard work to go to waste by destroying the seasoning right away. So we need to learn how to take care of them now. For the first cooking after a seasoning of a cast iron, I like to cook something with a lot of oil or fat so that we can just reinforce what we've already done. So we are going to cook bacon in this pan and then cook a egg over easy on this one just to test out how non-stick it is and we will make sure we lube it up with some butter and that will help uh, get just a little more oil into it. And then when we are done with that, I will show you how to properly clean a cast iron so that we do not destroy the seasoning. Since this is not a cooking episode about how to make bacon and eggs, we will get most of it done in a time lapse. I've got bacon going in this one. I already cooked one round to give it a little more fat. Uh, I had the temperature on too high for the first one so it kind of burned. So we are on the second batch. Just don't turn your, your bacon heat up to high. And over here we have the melted butter, unsalted butter. So just a little bit of uh, stickiness, but uh, we used butter, not non-stick spray, and this is not Teflon, and yet uh, it's a very smooth release. So that was pretty quick and painless. I'm uh, not very good at the air go for easy, but uh, we give it our best try. The whole point was for showing off the pans and getting them with a nice uh, bit of oil and fat. So I do not want these to go to waste, so I'm going to stop really fast and eat it while the pans cool down because uh, it is way too hot to clean. But we have some nice tidbits in there, and that is perfect for our first uh, cooking after our seasoning. We are just reinforcing the oil we have put in and same thing with these We have some nice grease right on there and uh, that is also what we want uh, You don't have to just cook fatty things in cast iron It's just this is our first cooking after our seasoning. So that is why we are uh, picking some especially uh, tasty morsels Okay, now before the pan gets completely cold, we want to come in here and clean it up. If you have a lot of uh, grease in here, I have a grease glass jar that I pour this into so it does not clog the drain. However, this is not really very much, so we shall uh, just use some paper towel. And you see it is kind of burnt on there. That is okay. Oops. The doggy will clean that up. I like to use kosher salt 
It is a nice absorbent and also has some nice texture to it. So you can see how it is not quite as small as normal salt, table salt. And we shall just uh, scrub it. This one is not quite as non-stick as a, a new pans that you would buy from the store. That one, it is much more non-stick the first time, but uh, this is doing okay. I'm only using the tongs because it's still quite warm. And you don't have to do this over the uh, burner. It's just a convenient place for me since I already have the uh, camera set up for it. So as you can see, cast iron, it is a pan of love. That is what I'm saying. Every time that we uh, do this type of thing, we are changing the characteristics of the pan. And soon it becomes your pan. Uh, with all of your cooking and uh, cuisine, journeying, whatever in there. And when you pass it on to your future children or whoever, if you choose to do so, then all of your love and, and time and effort is in the pan as well. And then they can continue on. And it can become kind of a nice uh, keepsake for the family. There it is. Now you might see there's still some stuff in there. Uh, we could continue to scrub these with some more salt. Uh, however, as I said, this is the first season or cooking uh, after our seasoning, so things are a little stickier than they normally would be. But I would not recommend washing these right away. However, if leaving a little bit of the meat on there uh, bothers you, you could use some uh, water, no soap, for the first time to kind of clean it out. Uh, just plain water will not hurt anything. There we go. If you look at my one I bought from the store season, uh, you can see it uh, left, left a little bit in there and you get that characteristic scorch marks. But I do wash this one with soap and water. That is fine. It is a well put on seasoning done by the manufacturer. So, and I've cooked with it enough that a little soap and water will not hurt anything. Uh, yeah, you don't want to have your fingers completely disgusting when you touch it. See, I can touch all these and I'm not getting oily. That is a proper uh, seasoning. Now onto this. Yes, you do use some paper towels. But this one, I wish you could feel how, how uh, slippery and smooth it is. That is extremely smooth. Yes, it's so smooth. Uh, nothing is really sticking. The salt is just going everywhere. And that is what we wanted with this pan. So clearly, that is it on that one. Now, after I get done with the scrubbing that I just showed you, I always take just a little tiny bit of oil. Not much, just, just enough to give it a light rub down. And this helps uh, make sure that we keep it water resistant. If you do need to use soap and water on uh, one that has a long standing seasoning, so after, you could use soap and water after probably two uh, cookings with these. You only want to use dish soap, such as uh, just some Dawn or whatever your favorite soap is. Something very easy. You don't want to use like Ajax or anything like that. And so like I said, I just put a tiny bit of vegetable oil, whatever, on the pan. And we set that aside. And over here, same thing. Come on. There we go. Uh, but this, you don't really want to feel it at all. This is more microscopic rubbing in. So if you feel any extremely 
greasy parts. I mean, you can come and scrub each hot. We're just putting on a tiny, tiny layer. And now, all we have to do is talk about storage. So you'll see here, I also have a Dutch oven cast iron pan, or pot, I guess, if you will. And so we just take a thin piece of uh, pepper towel. I just use the same one over and over again. And all this does is help to make sure that if there is any moisture still in there from whatever you cooked or if you washed it, whatever, this gives it a tiny chance to evaporate. So we shall just kind of build a little cast iron cake. So next I put on that one. And these aren't quite as important because there's plenty of crumb, but just for the sake of doing it right, we shall do like that. And there we have our cast iron cake. Now before I go, we need to check on our experiment from earlier in the episode. Let's have a look. Ugh, would you look at that. This is exactly what I was talking about for a poor seasoning. This is, this is what was on the uh, flat skillet the first time. And you can see, ugh, you can see there is like a layer and it is sticky. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that is, that is disgusting. And if we come in here, it, ugh, see, yes, ooh. Let me get, see, see that? I can scrape my nail through it. And this is, this is exactly why you want to put the pan upside down. So now with that, I hope you have enough information to properly take care of your cast iron pans so that they last your entire culinary life. If you found this video interesting, please give it a like down below. And so you don't miss out on any episodes of Cuisine a la Pierre, please subscribe to the channel. Every subscribe really means a lot to us and helps us grow our channel even more. Until next time, happy cooking and bon appetit. Mwah! So, now that we have some re-seasoned pans, we need to know how to take care of them so that they do not... That's a lot of Z's. <laughs> Just in case. I completely lost where I was going.